Hello guys, Luke here with Motion Page. Apologies for the delay with this video. I've been a little bit sick and we've also been very busy with a new plugin. But in any case, here's the video. Uh, today's video is actually going to be animating pseudo elements. Now, this has actually been a very popular request, so I thought I'd just make a very quick video on this today. Now, with Motion Page, we don't actually animate the pseudo itself. What we're actually doing is attaching variables to the CSS properties. And then with Motion Page, what we can do is animate that variable. So let me show you how we can do this in Motion Page. Okay, as you can see, I've made this page in Oxygen Builder. And I'm just going to set up a, an example for us here. So I'll just make a new section. I'm going to add some text and let's let's create one of these like this. So an example link with a tag and then we'll try to animate this tag using an after pseudo. So I'm just going to call this example link. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a class to this element and let's just call this MP for motion page. So I'm just going to use this class, it's MP my tag primary. And then we'll make our edits on here. So what I'll do first is on the after pseudo, this is where I'll add our tag. So let's just say tag one, for example. And I'm going to make some edits here. Border. Give it some padding as well. And then one last thing I'm going to do on the parent here, I'm just going to center everything using flex. Kind of like that. And I'm actually going to put this to zero. So I could actually just erase those like that. Okay, cool. So here's our tag. And this obviously is using the after pseudo. So let's say we want to animate this. Um, I think a good example first will be to animate the background color. So what we'll need to do is on the pseudo itself, instead of defining a color like this, what we can do instead is add a variable. So if I go to WP code box in my root, I'm going to add this variable, which is mpbg color. So it's motion page background color and it has a value here. So I'm going to copy this and use this in oxygen. So variable, write it like this. So it's not reflected in the builder, but it should be reflected on the front end. So I'm just going to save it and have a look on the front. Uh, save this one as well. Make sure that's it. There we go. So you can see it's reflected now. Since we have a variable now, I'll show you how we can animate this in motion page. So create a new timeline going to call this uh, pseudo animations. I'm going to select my page here. So what we'll need to do for the animation selector is just select the parent. And I'm going to use the class that we've just used because my pseudo is actually uh, attached to this class. So make sure this one is selected here. Um, I'm just going to change this as well. Uh, for example, scroll trigger. Lock to scroll bar, for example. All right, so if we go down here, now remember we added a background color, but this is not going to work because if I add a color here, it's going to add to the whole element, as you can see if I use red. So yeah, you can see the red is being applied here. It's very faint because we, um, we actually need to scroll down in order to see it. So if I use two instead, background color, select red. So you can see it's going from nothing to red. So that's not ideal, we don't want this. What we need to do is use custom, and then in here we can just use the variables that we've made. So minus the uh, brackets here and the variable itself, just like this. So this is how we tag it. And then if I just say, for example, red, now what's gonna happen is it's gonna go from blue to red. And essentially guys, this is how you animate your pseudo elements. So let's say instead of scroll trigger on page load, you'll see it go from blue to red like that. So let's say we want to add another animation. So obviously with the red color, it's difficult to see the text. So let's change the text color. So we could just do here, for example, MP text color. And let's say, let's just give it um, an original color of black. Now back in oxygen, we'll have to go to, to make sure you're on the after pseudo here. And then on the color, we can use that variable. So if I go back here and just copy this, Uh, 
MP text color. So that should be black. I'm just going to save WP code box here. So difficult to see, but it did change to a more dark color. So that is working. And then once again, in motion page, we'll go down here, add a custom property, which was this one. I will change it to white so we can actually see it on the red background. So it's going from black to white text now. And one more example here. Uh, let's say we want to change the space between the text here and the tag itself on page load. So you see here we have a value of six. Now remember, if we want to animate this, it needs to be a variable. So let's go here, back to motion page, and let's use this one, MP, motion page, margin left zero. Uh, let's give it an original value of six pixels. And I'm going to use this one here in oxygen. Save this, save WP code box as well. Refresh the front, so no change because it's still six pixels. But now in motion page, once again, on page load, if we want it to expand, so give it more space, we could change it to something like 10 pixels. So I just refreshed the uh, motion page here. Now it's very subtle, but uh, it is moving four pixels from six pixels to 10 pixels. Now, the nice thing about this is because we're using the parent as the animation selector, we can trigger each animation separately if you're using something like scroll trigger. And I will show you this, just a quick example. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this section a few times so that we have um, a few different examples. Then in motion page, so as you can see what's happening, if I lock this to scroll bar as well, so you'll notice as I scroll down, they're all animating at the same time. And in most cases, we don't want that. So we just trigger each iteration individually. And you'll see that um, they're all independent of one another, which is really cool as well. Now, if I just bring these slightly closer together, say 40, 50. So you can see now that they're all starting out blue. Our original styling is applied here and they're all going to animate separately like this. Pretty cool, save this. And here's what it looks like on the front as well. Cool. So there you have it guys, just a simple video. Uh, but as you can see, animating pseudo elements is quite simple. Once again, the only thing we're doing is adding variables to the values and that's what we're animating. Now I did say in our previous video that this video would be um, like an Apple animation. I apologize for that. I am still working on that page and I will bring it in the next video, I promise. Please stay tuned, subscribe for more, and we'll be back with another video very soon. Thank you.